The sign on the wall doesn't lie. Zero conference titles for the Hamilton Charger girls basketball program. But that can all change here tonight against Divine Savior Holy Angels in a winner-take-all battle for the Greater Metro Conference crown. Both teams out of the gates fast in this one. Opening possession of the game, Chargers work it around the sophomore Mackenzie Latt for two early points. Other end of the floor, Phenom freshman Arike Agumbawale is quick to respond. This game tied at 15 after the first. Chargers take control in the second. Again, it's Latt from in close. She paces Hamilton with 14 in the first half. Then it's another sophomore for the Chargers. Hannah Menzia buries the three ball, and Hamilton will lead by 11 at the break. Second half, Dashers start to chip away. Agumbawale gets the runner to fall. Then in the fourth, still down six, B. Thorson plays the role of the hero for DSHA, drills that trifecta. Then with under 30 seconds to go, it's Thorson again. Three ball corner pocket. Oh no. Oh yes. This game is headed to overtime, tied at 50. In the extra frame, who else? A gumbo wale again. She goes off for 26 to lead the Dashers. Divine Savior up two. But Lat was more than up to par. Lat scores 31 on the night, leaving all scorers. Chargers up too late. Dashers call timeout with 15 seconds to go to set up a play. But Hamilton tightens up the D, and the five second call seals their first ever conference title. Hamilton wins at 59 54, claiming the GMC crown. I'm speechless. I can't believe it. I'm, I just, I love this team. They play so hard for us. We have so much of these players. And they deserve every second of this. They really do. It's a proud moment for our program. It means a lot because it's the first time this year, and we're just so pumped, and we're glad that we could do it this year, and it's the start of a tradition. Racine St. Cats visiting Heritage Christian for the right to hang the banner as Midwest Classic South champs. Heritage won the Midwest Classic North a season ago. Strong play by both sides early on. Lady Patriots feed junior Jasmine Harris down low for the bucket. Then St. Cats out running. Up ahead, Sydney Tepley. She dishes out to Lindsay LeCount. This game would be tied at 16 after one quarter of play. Angels dominate the second though. Again, St. Cats running in transition. It's Annie Bukaklian taking it all the way herself. Gets it to go plus the foul. Then Tepley proves to be too strong down low to defend. Tepley nets 25 points for the Angels. St. Cats would lead by 10 at the break. During halftime, Heritage Christian celebrated Mariah Began scoring her 1,000th career point earlier this season. And maybe it reminded her that she can score, because that's all she did in the third. Gets the runner to fall. Then out ahead of the defense, she gets the easy deuce. More from the girl teammates call Mo. Buries the trifecta for three of her game high 25. Lady Patriots up six after three. In the fourth, St. Cats trying to stay close. LeCount from long range. She scores 25 on the night as well, but it wouldn't be enough. Ramaya Bennett gets the bucket and the bump. Two of her 23 points. Heritage Christian outscores St. Cats by 20 in the second half and they win the Midwest Classic South Conference Championship. Three years out of the last four years, we have won the conference. So we talked a little bit about that. Um, and both Mariah, J Jasmine, and Jameer, they have won the conference since their freshman year every year. So we talked a little bit about how sweet it would be to get three in a row. Um, and so we, we talked about it, and, and they really wanted it real bad. Because uh, one of their goals is to win that conference all four years.